Welcome to the Blue Cast, where I, your host, True Blue, aka Alex, talk with my cast of friends about whatever we want. Today we have Ink Nova, aka Terrence. Hello. Galaxy, aka Leandro. What's up? Double Dog, aka Chase. Oh, wait a minute. No. The dog is gone. He's gone. He's gone. He betrayed us. It's it's okay. <laughs> he bit someone, so we kind of had to euthanize him. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> he will be missed. He will be missed. He isn't currently available. Uh, he was gonna join. He's not currently available. So it's we're just we're, ju- we're just trolling him. Um, before we get to the actual discussion. Today is the literal anniversary of Donkey Kong. Today is the actual 40th anniversary. Like, on the day we are recording this. August. It is July 9th, and I think that's actually really cool, because this was just a random date that I picked, and it so happens to coincide <laughs> with the anniversary. Ooh, um, Nintendo announced up. the OLED model. That happened. There is a shit video. It doesn't look that bad. I made a shit video with me and Terrence. Uh, Leandro, your thoughts on the new Switch? I mean, I think it looks better than the old one. If anything, it's just going to appeal to people who wanted better graphics, I guess. <laughs> for 50 like bucks more? <laughs> for, for 50 exactly. bucks more. Or like, a, or like the... Isn't it an Ethernet connection now? Or yeah, the, the new back. the new dock has uh, like LAN support, like Ethernet. Yeah, I mean, I like the colors. Which and it looks before nice, so. all switches can have that support, but you need to buy an adapter, <clears throat> which isn't included. I, I mean, the OLED works for me because it's like I have a switch light. <laughs> Not really much else I could do with that. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. <laughs> upgrades, people. We need upgrades. If you get that uh, reference, you okay. understand. Okay, what, what, what else happened in between this and last podcast? I don't know. I don't think anything actually like happened. Nintendo announced mm. a new console. Like, E3 happened before the last podcast, so all that shit. Like, we already talked about it. So, like, yeah, no, I think Nintendo just announced a new console, and that was it. Gonzo. Oh, I finished my... Did oh, you, you know talk what? about... Humble, humble brag. I, it doesn't really humble brag. I finished my second podcast. I'm on the third. Yeah. Bog, bog. And I'm gonna. Did I'll say it about- here. I'll say it here because I, I keep. I say it like every episode of the Zelda Let's Play. Thirty likes on any one of my Zelda episodes, and I will do both parts of the DLC blind playthrough of the DLC, basically, because I have myself have never played it. So if you want to see that, go down to the. Go check out my Zelda content and like those videos. Okay, enough shilling. What are you gonna say? Have you talked? Have you talked about Kazuya on here or not? Nah? Is that for a whole nother thing? I don't think like we've ever talked about. I might have mentioned him last time, but like. Well, that's something. That's something that happened. In yeah, no, he did. To so Kazuya came out. Uh, he has a million inputs. <laughs> he, He's so, cool. That's one he's thing. cool. I'll give him that. He's cool, but he's just annoying. But is he a Shoto? Is the real question. <laughs> I'll be listen. I'll say it here first. Kazuya only good in one v ones. Like only good at one v ones. Half of his mechanics don't work when you're in like a like a three a free for all. So I'll say it here first. He's Wait, not yeah. even that. He's not really that good unless it's a one v one. If it's a one v one, he's like he's amazing. But like if it's not, he's kind of useless. So. Oh, bad. I'll, I'll put that out there. I'll put that out there. Um, we love anyway. using laser beam across map. <laughs> it's such. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. It's so bullshit. He. It's so. His moves are so range. bullshit. But it's like uh, he's not that good. He's not that good. I'll. I'll say it first. He's not that good. He's we cool. Love the ten hit combo. Terry was better. I'll say it. I'll say it now. Terry was better. We love the ten hit jab. <laughs> Hold the A button <laughs> combo for 10 hits. Anyway, today is the Donkey Kong podcast to celebrate his 40th anniversary. And for one, we know very little about Donkey Kong. I'll say that I'll, I'll say that here first. Um Funny Monkey. Leandro, what Donkey Kong games have you played? I've played Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy Color. I've played um 
I think it was also Donkey Kong Country on the Wii. Donkey Kong Country Not Returns? Not that many. Yeah. Okay, Not Terrence, that what that about many. you? Um, my first was Donkey Kong Country on the SNES. Then I played uh, Returns, then Tropical Freeze, and then I played Country 2 and 3 on SNES Online. Uh, I myself oh, have played Donkey Kong Country Returns, the original arcade game, and Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3 on the SNES Online with Terrence going absolute ape shit at those games. Um, and I think I've it's very important. I think it's very important that we go straight into minecart levels because. Um... <laughs> they suck. <laughs> I love minecart levels. <laughs> No, no, you don't understand the frame perfect jumps you have to make. <laughs> in I find them enjoyable. Too. I find them enjoyable. They are not enjoyable. So <laughs> let me let me explain. When me and Terrence we played Do when we played Donkey Kong Country Online, we always play together. That's like that's like a game thing we do. Um, and we switch off every level. Who's gonna who's like level that's gonna be that they play? Uh, Terrence always gets the minecart levels, and in Donkey Kong Country <laughs> One. He got the minecart level, and we were like, oh, it's not bad. Everyone talks about how amazing this is. So this will be great. Uh, and five minutes in, I think we lost our minds. Um, Lovely. Because it was just, it was like the jumps. We just couldn't get it down. <laughs> uh, I think it had to do also with just switch controls and the inputs and the changes and shit. We don't but, talk, but we get disconnected every two seconds. Switch online, am I right? But yeah, so that's our experience with the Donkey Kong for Country games and just the franchise as a whole. Terrence, you've seen the the shitty TV show, right? Yeah, I, I have a DVD of it. I yeah. don't want to know. I really don't. <laughs> it is um, probably the worst and best thing I think I've ever seen is that TV show. Um because on all one hand, out together, we should definitely watch it. I'm gonna tell you right now that that show is a fever dream, an acid trip. It's the equivalent to being high, <laughs> I think. The equivalent of taking acid at two in the morning. If you were, were to like snort just a desk full of cocaine, <laughs> the Donkey Kong so Country cool. TV show <laughs> would be what appears. A whole desk full, no. <laughs> and I, when I mean a desk full, I mean like you open <clears> the <throat> cabinets and it's just just the entire cabinet is just that. <laughs> oh my god. Like that's the Donkey Kong Country TV show. And there was apparently a rumor that they're trying to get a, some some new type of Donkey Kong TV show going. Please no. And I ho I honestly hope they just like they just make an HD version of that god awful show. Because that would be amazing. It's like Sonic Boom. It's like Sonic Boom, but with Donkey Kong characters. Coconut cream pie. <laughs> There's also music in that show. And King K. Rule, uh, he he was there for like an episode. Um, king of the Kremlins himself? He's got a shandy just for you, but how he's the greatest king of time. Make sure you get it all in rhyme. You can't stop probably. Okay, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Oh! <laughs> I, I, I will... I would love to get myself demonetized for the sake of a bit, but I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not. Ooh. These people can tell... So, okay, there's a YouTuber that goes by Juno Songs. I adore this creator. He does... He'll put, like, lyrics over, like, game... Uh, video game music, and I love it. Uh, and he did Gangplank Galleon uh, when it was... In, when K. Rolls announced her Smash, he did that. Um, and I, myself know the entire lyrics of the extended version like front to back and uh let's just say terrence loves just randomly going um say the line and then i'll just i'll sing it like as fast as i possibly can um augers so that i have a feeling this video will probably get demonetized only because i just start singing just the entirety of that song at some point um, and I'm ex I give you five minutes, but <laughs> real shame, Terrence. You know I I, I know you're you've cool. been wanting to just talk about K. Rule. Go go for it. All yours. 
Uh, I, I love the fat crocodile, uh, the Fiesta <laughs> Brown. Um, he's amazing. Um, I don't know. I, I just really like the crocodile. Terrence Mays King K rule with Smash, which is why he adores him so much. He gives you the finger and dabs when he crouches. Exactly. I think I think me and Leandra can both say uh, Terrence plays like two characters, and one of those is K Rule. And if it's not K Rule, it's the Tornado of Testosterone himself, Incineroar. If you get that reference, like, con, subscribe. Don't forget DDD. That one person in the comment that knows what you're talking about. <laughs> Ooh, I know that. I know that reference. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Monkey. Funny monkey. Uh oh, stinky. Maybe I should put a warning. Uh, for the next like fifty minutes, there's gonna be monkey noises just scattered throughout. So if you don't want to listen to just three men sit and make monkey noises towards their computers, I'd recommend leaving now. Um, Ooh, banana. Yeah, no, we're 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 fucking insane. Um, banana slammer. So. Uh, so Donkey Kong, we just talked about um, Gangplank Galleon. Can we just talk about the amazing soundtracks that the Donkey Kong Country games have? Anger soundtracks. Mm. And don't get me started on like the Smash Bros. remixes, like the Map Page remix from like Donkey Kong Country mm. 2 that they did. Mm. 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 I love I've that. I've talked about that song so many times. <laughs> Dude, and the DK Christine, rap? Please. The DK rap? We don't talk about that. <laughs> one Winged Kong? I don't know if you can really count that one. No introdu introduction needed. I don't- I think everyone who likes Smash Bros knows about One Winged Kong, because that is a- it is, like... It's something. For those who don't know, One Winged Kong is this video with-, with <laughs> it's Sephiroth <laughs> with just Donkey Kong's face on him. And it's the entirety of One Wigged Angel, which is Sephiroth's theme, but with, like with the DK rap over it. And it is the funniest, best song I think I've ever heard in my whole life. No style, no grace. This man's got a funny face. DK, DK, DK. I think I still have it on my soundboard, actually. <laughs> Please, no. Don't be <laughs> song. I don't. I, if if um, OBS picked up my soundboard, I would play it, but I don't have it on right now. I don't got it set up yet, which sucks because I would totally start. I would get demonetized for the sake of one Wade Kong. That is a, a treat I think everyone <laughs> deserves to listen to. We don't talk about it. Demonetization, yay! <laughs> what's your okay? I want to know what what's your favorite Donkey Kong game that each of you have played. Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy. Ah, okay. Okay. Terrence, what about you? I would say, okay, so I forgot to say this, but either Donkey Kong 64, because I've played that one, or I'd have to say the original Donkey Kong Country for a second. Question, time. did you 100% Donkey Kong 64? Uh, no, I I got K. Roll, and then I seen all the golden bananas, and I'm like, I'm not 100%ing this. <laughs> not doing this. Donkey Kong 64 is like, it's like notorious for being like an absolute bitch to 100%. So, we but I gotta say, I think I prefer Donkey Kong Country 2 only because the name. Because it has Diddy in it. Only because it's about Diddy Kong. Diddy. Only because it's about Diddy Kong. Before, Diddy. I, before I start ranting about Diddy Kong for half an hour, what is your favorite Kong? I need to know what's everyone's favorite Kong. Mine is Diddy, of course. Um, Either DK himself or also Diddy. Darren's. I would I would have to say either like Donkey Kong himself or uh, Dixie, because I like her uh, floating Ooh. powers. I gotta say Diddy Kong for. A large amount of reasons, uh, but Rest let's just say, Andy. if if there's one character that we joke about 
the most like just like when we're talking i think diddy kong is like our number one like joke character that we talk about oh definitely definitely we talk about him like all the time we joke we joke about diddy kong i think as much as we joke about your dog terrence i <laughs> true i i honestly Probably think if more. it's like if the conversation dies out it's either going to your dog or diddy kong Literally. I think that's like one just what two. happens. One of two, both are equally funny. Like when I tell you that this bit has been going on for too long, we have on Terrence's Minecraft server on this. Oh, it's a creative server that we just build room shit on. We have an enchi- entire desert with a Diddy Kong shrine, and it's it's called Poganity. Uh, and it's it's a, a joke religion dedicated to Diddy Kong. There's a church. The chickens, not the chickens. There's Tony. Tony's just a pit. We just named it Tony. Um, you named it Tony. Not I named it Tony. But <laughs> the Tony church is also a chickens. bomb. So Damn. there's the the Diddy Kong bathwater that you can shower in. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, when it, if we play Donkey Kong Country, uh, when we play Donkey Kong Country, I mean, uh, the first one. Every time it was my turn to play, I would just sit there and move the stick left and right really fast. And it would, Diddy Kong's animation would get stuck looking directly at the mm-hmm. camera. Um, and just every time we see a new animation, we just make monkey noises and go ape shit. Because that's how a real man <laughs> plays Donkey Kong is just you make monkey noises every five minutes. Monkey. Honestly, I really don't have that much to say about Donkey Kong himself. He's fun in Smash. I'll give him that. <laughs> he's, he's fun in Smash, but like Diddy Kong, that that's where where my heart is. Yes, Diddy, Diddy Kong, Kong I love it. I feel like we talk about Donkey Kong, like the just the franchise as a whole. We just talk about them more in Smash Bros than anything else. Oh, most definitely. Because while we we well, I love the Donkey Kong Country games. It's not a regular occurrence that we play that, but it is a regular occurrence that we play Smash Bros. And one of us picks Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, or Terrence plays K. Rule. If Terrence is there, he's gonna play K. Rule at some point. Um, Scary. So you cannot hey, stop. Hey, hey, Leandro, you want to tell the helicopter story? The Super Smash <laughs> Flash. You want to tell oh, the the helicopter God. story? Okay, so. In middle school, me and me and Alex and Terrence, we all went. Well, Terrence was last the last year, but we all went to Normanda Middle School, and it was towards the end of the year. We had nothing to do in our class, so me, Alex, don't and say our the other good the, friend. Yeah, I was gonna say don't say names. Can't. Yeah, and our other good friend, we decided to sit down and play one v one v one smash flash on a tiny chromebook in the corner of it was our ELA we class. found i want you to be I want this very clear that i found a very old build of smash flash 2 in an unblocked website very obscure website like we were i spent so long and then for the last i want to say three months of school it was just like my group of friends we would just do like smash tournaments with this old version mm-hmm. um literally and you could continue from there. All right. So me and our good friend decided to both use Donkey Kong's upbeat. And every time one of us finished the attack, the other one proceeded to pick it back up again. And Alex was just stuck in the middle of it. I was, like I think I was trying to play, minutes. I think I was trying to combo with like Falcon or something. Cause that's obviously how I play games. And then it was just like seven minutes of just, I couldn't move because there's two monkeys uh, going at it. And the worst part is, I, <laughs> we're playing on this tiny Chromebook, this very small Chromebook. So my hand was so cramped. You could we we rig the controls so we could all play. So I have my hands like on top of each other in the middle, like uh, Leandro's on my left with random buttons and my our other friends on our right. So we're all like right next to each other. So they're sitting here like crying, laughing, and I'm sitting here like I want to go ape shit. But the issue is I can barely <laughs> move. And I like my hand, all of our hands are just like hurting. 
So I just had to sit there Literally, and suffer. Literally, I got the worst cramp ever. Oh my I know god, I that, that sucked to play. All I remember is for special attacks, I use X, and for normal attack, I use Z. It's all I remember. <laughs> we I yeah, we rigged. Waz. If you look at a keyboard, we rigged it so it was like his, his controls would be like like W A S D, and then Z X C Y. My other friend would be like. I J K L O P Y U, and then I was just like T F G H V B N M for like our attacks. So it was like our hands were just like <laughs> we were we were doing our hardest. Um, it was a lot of fun. O um, only reason English class was enjoyable. That's a joke, but uh, kind of anyway. Anyway. <laughs> It's, uh, Leandro loves reminding me of the, the spinning monkeys of doom and destruction. So I thought it'd be nice to bring it, bring it up here on the podcast for everyone to see. I said every time I mention helicopter, you lose your shit and then you leave and I'm like, damn. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Aaron, do you got any funny DK moments? Terrence has seen my Donkey Kong at its best and at its worst, so I want to hear what he has to say. Sometimes that thing is really easy to pummel, and then other times that thing just decides I'm going to be God for a day. <laughs> I want to make we it very clear that um, Donkey Kong is one of the, is like, I would say in my opinion, I don't know if you guys would agree, but I'd say in my opinion, one of my best characters. Uh, that isn't my main. Uh, and I... I adore playing him because I love comboing. Uh, but one Alex, thing I love doing. Did you say doing, you're one of your best characters? I I would say, in my opinion, Donkey Kong's one of my best. Banana Slima. If you get that reference, you understand. <laughs> one of my best characters. But I I will say um there are a lot of times where it'll I'll just start going for crazy shit and it just works. Uh, for example. Sometimes, Leandro likes playing Little Mac. We don't know why. We refuse. We, I enjoy. We, I genuinely <laughs> enjoy Little Mac. Okay, keep it's telling a yourself to that. Everyone. I just um, enjoy Little Mac. <laughs> Listen, if our one v one Kazuya match, I won that. You need to shut up. It was uh, dude. After, <laughs> never mind. Um, Silence. When. When we when uh he would play, I would just grab Donkey Kong and just chuck him off the side. It was great because we couldn't, I couldn't recover. even return too. I'd be at such a percent, and it'd send me at such a horrible angle. I could not recover. I also love going for the the down throw into forward air because that it works all the time. I hate you. It works all the time. <laughs> we don't talk about the. Sometimes you just gotta jump. Jump! 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 Copyright claim. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Is there any new copyright? Like I don't when, Donkey Kong's last game was Tropical Freeze with the new funky mode. So <laughs> Funky. Do, what do you is there any games you want to like in the Donkey Kong franchise you want to see a sequel to? Like you wanna you want a new like 3D kind of six DK64? You want another Donkey Kong Country? Ooh. Do you want a returns game? Like what what kind of games do you guys want? I would I would like to see a remaster of Donkey Kong Country for Game Boy Color. I think that'd be <laughs> interesting. It'd be cool. Wasn't there um wasn't there two? Wasn't there like a like a second one or am I am I uh, going crazy? I think there might be. I'm not sure. So what are you talking about? Donkey Kong Country for Game Boy Colors. Was there was oh, there yeah. a sequel? Colors, was there two? Yeah. Or was there only one? Uh, I think it was right now. I will say I would love to get another Returns game. I, and I would love it if they made K Rule on Donkey Kong's side. They they had to work together kinda like a Crash Bandicoot to, uh what's a Yeah, it's there's not two. twin sanity. The second one there's one crash There's game two. where you got to work with Cortex, but yeah, Twin um, Sanity. That's Twin Sanity. Okay, I, like something like that where it's Donkey Kong working with with like Kremlings. So it's like the Kongs and the Kremlings working. I think that'd be a cool concept to because you got you got a lot of chunk on the Kremling side and you got a lot of like mobility 
and agility and abilities just in general on the other side. So I think it'd be a cool concept, but I just want to see K rule. I want to say, I want to see K rule come back into the spotlight. Donkey Kong and rabbits crossover. I'm going to um, say yeah, that was, I have, Kong I myself have not too. played the donkey, uh, the donkey Kong DLC and Mario rabbits, but I think it was pretty solid from what I've seen. It looks pretty good. Like I, all it the new mechanics cool. that they added look really cool. It would have been cooler if you could fight King K. Rool, or just like a rabid version of King K. Rool. That sounds cursed. I really wish be, there was um. It'd be cool. Yeah, it'd be cool. A rabid Diddy Kong. I really, I really. Maybe the deal. Maybe the DLC for Mario plus Rabbids too. <laughs> no. <laughs> rabid Rosalina. Like... Damn. Um. No, yeah, no, I think that's, like, all the topics. I think we've already gone for everything. Monkey. I Dude, I don't we still have, like, another 30 minutes to We film? still have another half hour, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've gone through apparently, half an hour. Okay, uh, off topic, but apparently the blue axolotl is the rarest one. So that's neat. The In Minecraft? Yeah, I looked it up. It's not the brown one, it's the blue one. I have it's at least one eight blue in, ones in the in my survival world. There's no way. It's one in I think forty two thousand. I refuse to believe that I'm lucky Hold that on. I think the blue one's the most common. I refuse to believe Hold that. On. <laughs> I gotta do some more looking up. So I, ref I refuse to believe that because that's that's all I oh that's all I got. And when I mean if I'm blue. like yeah yesterday literally yesterday I was working on. Uh, Pokemon living decks because I thought it'd be cool to get a whole living decks uh, and I was I wanted a cough I needed a coughing so I went to breed my wheezing tell me how I got a random shiny we don't talk about it like it, it's shit like that where I really question my luck it's like why does shit happen like this like <clears throat> shit just happens All right. so a blue axolotl is one in 12,000 they chose that number because that's how many axolotls are actually left on Earth in real life. The more you know. The more you know. Has a point zero zero eight eighty three percent chance. Bro, I swear, I get... Dude, those are like the only ones I find on a regular basis are the blue ones. We get I it. You have swear. Luck. Don't flex on us. No, I refuse to believe that they're the rarest ones. Hey, Terrence. Yeah. Watch it crit. Ugh. Don't remind me. <laughs> Is this just gonna become a Smash podcast? We're just gonna start talking about Smash Bros. Watch it crit crit. Every time. <laughs> it works it works every time. It works every goddamn time. So okay. <laughs> we don't talk about it. Let's okay. So I another character I love playing, I would say is one of my better ones, is Hero from Dragon Quest. Specifically, the blue alt with Munchie. I have no mana. Um, what I like doing uh, is w whenever I go for like a smash attack at random moments, I'll say, hey, watch this crit and then I'll crit. It'll be really cool. Because I think really it's cool. funny. It's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, pod this podcast turned into a pain and suffering podcast. No, That's what this is. No. Now, uh, this podcast is, like, giving me vibes of the, the first podcast we did, where it was just off track. No, no, no. That part, we still talked about Zelda. It's the Nintendo Land one that we we, we screwed up. <laughs> it's not that we're off track. It's that we finished all of our topics. It, yeah, it's not that we're going off topic. It's that we can't milk Donkey Kong. And I don't want to milk Donkey Kong. I don't want to think about milking Donkey Kong. Every time you say it, I just picture that one family guy scene where it's like Peter turns to his family and is like, all the milk in the fridge is not milk. I am a horse farmer now. Uh... We'll oh. Let that no. settle and resonate with your mind for a moment. Uh... I can't Close your eyes. I can't wait to put Peter Griffin in the thumbnail Mind you, now. Stewie still ate. Stewie still ate the cereal after that. And we don't talk about that. I can't wait to put Peter Griffin in my thumbnail now. <laughs> hey, Peter! Put, put Peter holding the whip. Like, just put that image. Oh my god. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> wow.
Why are you guys so mean to Will Wheaton? <laughs> you can't have pie without whipped cream. Is there any um, spin-off Donkey Kong games you, <laughs> you guys want to see? Like Donkey Kong Ventures, some new territory? Give us the one with the bongos on GameCube again. Donkey Kong Donkey Italy. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat? Is that the right one? Yeah, that yeah, that one. I want that one, but again. You want the bongo controllers? Yeah, I, I have that game. I just don't have the bongos. The bongo. So I ended up playing with a game a really awkward GameCube controller. Let me serenade you with my bongos. Now. I will say, I think Donkey Kong, all the characters have a gun. Like that was established. I think it would be hilarious if they made a Donkey Kong shooting game. Are you hungry for a peanut? You you guys know how there's like a like uh what's what was that one? Uh, what was that one shooting game that we played all together like twice and that was a was, um uh what is it something company Rogue Company Rogue Company you know how like you, yeah. you pick a character and they have like a move set and shit. Yeah. Just picture that, but it's like eight different monkeys from Donkey Kong. What would Candy what would Candy Kong special be? I don't know. I just I just like oh, the wait. idea of like a first person oh, no. I just love the idea of a first person game and it's like you see like you just see someone getting like a bazooka ready and you just see a hairy ass gorilla arm because it's first person and you're like, what the hell? First it's person not even, Donkey Kong. It's not even like good graphics. It's like the Doom It's like yeah, it's like graphics. really shitty too. Oh my god, I would I would love that game. I would pay for that. I would hella Don play it. Donkey Kong sixty four graphics shooter. <laughs> the freaking um the Banjo Kazooie multiplayer mode, but it's just Donkey Kong. First. I genuinely think that would be like the the dumbest but funniest game would be a Donkey Kong shooting game. Probably. I mean, what well, we got a racing game starring Diddy Kong, so I don't see why we can't get a shooting game starring Cranky Kong. <laughs> no. He just picks up his cane game. and uses it as a rifle. You get a parkour game instead. Cranky Kong's had enough of Donkey Kong's attitude. The parkour oh, game would shit. be Donkey Kong swinging through the trees. Tony Hawk's pro monkey. It's just a <laughs> No. <laughs> Damn. I wonder how many people would pay for that. I think it, I think slapping Donkey Kong on something. I think it's the same effect as like Mario. Sure, Donkey Kong's as recognizable, but I feel like if you slap his name on a game, it's gonna sell better than if it was like a random character, you know? Probably. Shy guys revolution. I don't think a lot of people would like that. Yeah, but if you said Donkey Kong's revolution. Yoshi capitalism. No. Yoshi the tax evader. I'd pay it. Uh, it'd be funny because it's like if you pay for the game, you'd have to pay tax for it. And you're like, no, I. No, I don't I, want it's the to. One, like, it's the one game digitally that has no tax. And you're like, damn. Real shame. Real shame. We don't talk about how Yoshi's uh, literally the um, when you go to see the um, I forgot what it was, but on Twitter it was something about um, they have a new like tax filer and the picture was like Yoshi. <laughs> nice. And he files. He files his taxes. I'm a Yoshi that files my taxes. I don't see why others are aren't. You know. I'm a good person. I pay my taxes. I'm trying to think. I don't know why, but my brain is just trying to think of like all the different Kongs that have been introduced. There's Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Cranky Kong, Dixie Kong, Tiny Kong, Candy Kong, Funky Kong. Kong. Crink crinkly Kong. Oh, that one. Yeah. Um, the one from 64. Chunky. Stealth. Stealth Lanky. is optional for me. Blows and up. then there's Chunky. He's, He's dead. dead. Ruh -roh. There's so many damn Kongs, it's hard to remember them all. Kongception. Honestly, what if we Crush just what if Kong. we got like the next Mario Sports game, but it's just only the Kongs? Like I, Mario yeah, like I you guys it. remember Mario Sluggers? That one section that, that was all Donkey Kong related is just the entire game. 
I'd pay for that. I love Mario Sluggers. I'd pay for the Donkey Kong edition. K. Roll is Egyptian themed and has no tail in that game. But you know, besides that, row. Yeah, why why was K. Roll Egyptian themed in that game? K. Roll had a weird ass design in that game. He was like kind of skinny. He didn't have a wow. tail. He had like Egyptian aesthetics. His crown was a bit different. He was just looking kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, he was something. Bald. 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 How many memes are you two gonna say before this damn video ends? <laughs> we we gotta keep it going. Croissant. We. <laughs> I swear to God. Jazz. I swear. I I heard you do the voice, and I was like, I swear to God. Jimmy Coon, what no, are you no. drawing? God damn it. Uh, whatever you do, don't say the line. <laughs> don't say the line. I beg of you. <laughs> God. Oh, God. You guys ever realize that, um, like, uh, arcade versions of DK... It's like, how, how come we don't get any of those anymore, you know? Dude, it, stop like, isn't, it, isn't it just kind of weird to think about the fact that, like, Donkey Kong, like, his old school style of game just doesn't exist anymore? You're talking about the original, right? Yeah, like, the, the original, like, you gotta go to Donkey Kong, you're playing as Mario, or you're playing as Donkey Kong Jr., um, and you, you gotta go, and it's just, it's just weird to me to think about the fact that, like, those games, games of, of that, what, what genre would that be? That's not a, pl that's not a platformer, is it? It might be. So, like, Arcade Donkey you Kong is play, You can play the Arcade Donkey Kong on the computer. <laughs> I know, but it's just, I'm trying to think, what, like, you don't get games like that anymore. Just, like, simple... Mm -hmm. Simple shit. Nope. It's forty. That was forty years ago, dude. Everything's got to be four K now. I want to see a first person. Um. Holy shit! How did I not realize we could talk about this, guys? Guys, you know what? Don where Donkey Kong appeared? Where? In an Adam Sandler Dude. movie. Oh yeah, he was in Pixels. 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 Yeah, let's uh, let's talk about let's I use like this excuse movie. to talk about Pixels. I didn't. I found I found it enjoyable. I think I was more upset at the fact that some of like there's like Duck Hunt and it was like the Smash version. I was like, why the hell are you here? You no, you don't belong like anywhere near these characters. A lot of their oh, references. No, a lot of their references. Uh, I don't know. I, they didn't sit well with me, to say the least. Also, I it's guess. like, isn't it weird to think about the fact that it's like the main characters and all those? It's like you see the villains appear, like Donkey Kong. He was the villain of that game. He appears and it's like you fight Pac-Man and there's no ghost and there's no jump man to fight. Well, Don isn't it weird that it's like selective? There are ghosts, but it, you are the ghost. That's the thing. Isn't it weird to think like, about no how like the creator, the creatures were like selective in the sense of like what they were. Like it, it wasn't the full, it wasn't like the full games. And if you're looking at the plot of it, it's just weird. I feel like that's like a bit of like a, like a hole in the, the plot of the story. That, that story <laughs> doesn't make like any amount of sense. Did but, you guys watch the movie? Did you did you see the after credits? Yeah, where the dude like apparently had kids with freaking what was it, Cubert? Yes. Literally Cubert transformed into the fighting girl. I don't even remember her name. Cubert became and a they woman. Had children. And then made they little literally little had Q children. And when he opened the door, he's like, kids I'm home and all here is daddy, daddy, daddy. Duck Hunt is still like, somewhere no. with an old lady. Um, that, like, that's still there. At least he's not in his, at least he's not in his grandma's basement anymore. <laughs> Drinking his... I'm sorry, the, the Pixels movie is like a fever dream. The fact that you can have Adam Sandler on, on the, um, cover Yeah, the fact that there's the footage podcast. of Adam Sandler beating the shit out of Donkey Kong. The power I have. Also, the, the fact is that there is, like... 
Pac-Man was scarier in the goddamn Kamen Rider movie than he was in Pixels, and I think that that says something. <laughs> no. There's a there's a freaking Kamen Rider movie where where they fight they fight Pac-Man. That's the whole plot of the movie. Like that the bad guy of the movie is freaking Pac-Man. Do you guys realize we kind of spoiled Pixels for anybody who hasn't watched it? It's such an it's such a shit. Mo- I'm sorry. Point, Listen, I'm sorry, but like, it's such a shit movie. I feel like no one cares. I'm sorry. I thought it was a terrible movie. If anything, if anything, <laughs> we save them the trouble. Yeah, it's a terrible movie, dude. No one needs to sit. If you're going to watch that movie, it's because it's Adam Sandler. <laughs> if you want a good Adam Sandler it. movie, watch Adam the Sandler Grown Ups was movies. In it. Uh, they should make Those a third Grown Ups. You know how much younger they're gonna have to make Adam Sandler look. <laughs> Adam I love how like Grown Ups One was just like a fun movie, for. and Grown Ups Two just exists because like Adam Sandler was like, I want to go on vacation with my friends, and then bam, Grown Ups Two exists. Like, do you think if they did Grown Ups Three, do you think it'd be like from their kids' point of view? I don't. Minus I mean, I need my fill of, of Adam them. Sandler. If he is not in every goddamn scene, I'm. That's not a good movie. Oh wait, they I don't think they could make another grown ups movie. Honestly, I won't I hope they make another Jumanji and you know how like Danny DeVito was there. I hope Adam Sandler's oh my, in, in yeah. the third one. But Danny DeVito's also still there. I wanna see Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, Danny DeVito, and Adam Sandler in the same goddamn movie. Jack Black. Throw Jack Black in there. There's so many famous actors like, in the freaking Jumanji movies that came yeah. out. <laughs> But, like, I don't think they'd be able to make Grown Ups 3 because Luke Ross is, like, dead. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. R.A.P. You went too soon. I think the Grown Ups movies is the reason why kids know not to pee in a pool. <laughs> I all think... the blue- Literally, the first thing I asked Cooper is, like, hey, if you pee in your pool, is it going to turn blue? That was, yeah, no, Literally that's not the first thing. Yeah, it was, it was there when you said Blue that. Liquid. And I'm like, you know, I'll just test it. It doesn't. <laughs> work, so. I'll test it. I'll <laughs> test it. Oh, God. Oh, that is the one thing you shouldn't be testing. Good to know. I won't go in the pool then. <laughs> it's obviously going to be clean by now. I'll just watch from afar. I'll throw you in, Terrence. Don't test me. I'll do to you as I did the Q-tip. I flung him in. The Q-tip. <laughs> do it, do it to Forehead Man instead. Oh, well, it would be so much easier. Literally, it was freezing, and he did not want to go in the water, so I just pushed him in. He turned around God and looked damn. at me like, You son of a... And I'm like, what are you going to do? <laughs> Jesus. He tried so hard to throw me into the pool, like in the water. You know how people pick, pick you up and like toss you into the water. He could not. This is like, what I happens when the boys get together. Literally, I casually put one leg down and I stand above him, and he's like, "Oh," and I'm like, "Yeah." You know he can't swim without using his hands. Like he has to physically cover his nose, or else he will not go under the water. Oh, he can't breathe on the underwater with his nose. Yeah, he needs to cover it. And I'm Th- like, there's a lot of people like that, though. That that's a very common thing. I know, but like, I literally tried helping him, teaching him. Like, I was holding him above the water. I'm like, okay, just push out of your nose. And he's like, no, no. And I'm like, oh my god, fine. Can you go underwater with your, I, with your no. nose? Yeah, I don't cover my nose. Terrence, can you? Neither do I. Yeah, I can go without covering my nose. Yeah, same here. You know, random question. What are you guys' favorite goggles? Like, what kind of goggles do you prefer? Like, for, like, I don't think going they have in, like, names, a pool? But, like, pool, the beach, like, which one is more comfortable for you to wear? Fun fact, I don't wear goggles. Oh, he opens his eyes in the chlorine. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> I, I, open I, can't, I, can't, I can't open my eyes under underwater. I can... But I know the aftermath, which is why I try not to. Oh, no, I know like, the aftermath, but it isn't like I, I, I can't. Like it just, like I, just my eyes won't stay open underwater. 
It's so blurry. There's literally no point. I really listen. I will say I th- I think it's really cool. Um, like the first time I was like handed a pair of goggles because it's like I like like you go into like I was like used to going into a pool. It's like you can't really see the bottom because it goes like a little kid. And I got handed like a pair of goggles mm. and I was like freaking this like this is like those crazy scenes in Little Mermaid. Holy shit! Freaking Aladdin <laughs> over here, a whole new world. Yeah, I just discovered that, bro. Holy shit! It was like revolutionary to me when I was little. Honestly, Sam, I found them amazing because like I can finally open my eyes and see what's going on down here. I didn't like it because the first time I did it, I was at the beach and I saw all the crabs and like whatnot crawling on the floor, and I'm like, you see I a crab slowly now. start walking towards you. You're like, nope, nope, nope. I would like to leave the premises now, mother. <laughs> Take mother, me I require you to get in the car and start running it. <laughs> I require you to make me a sandwich, please. <laughs> okay. Okay. This isn't even about Donkey Kong anymore. We just haven't mentioned It's about them. Adam Sandler now, just, my friend. We're just vibing. That's what this is right now. I, I couldn't I, milk I Donkey the, Kong you know, the, if I tried, and I, I knew it, but I wanted to do this podcast anyway. We have nine minutes left, so that's something. Oh, we, got, we got time. Oh. Don't worry about the time. Don't worry about it. My preferred goggles are the ones that um, Olympic swimmers wear, like the, the ones that just cover your eyes. I prefer those. That's all I need. <laughs> that's all I need. <laughs> I will say, Donkey Kong... Uh, underwater segments. I hate those with a burning passion. Lovely. Let's go. Don't talk Listen, about this is the sharks. only way I could think about going back to Donkey Kong without. <laughs> I, I I will we say I think sharks. I think like my least favorite part about the Donkey Kong Country games are the underwater segments. Minecart levels. I I dislike those as much as Terrence, but I I find them hilarious. Um, but, at the, but like freaking the underwater levels, I hate those. I find those not yeah. fun in the slightest. I'll admit, I don't care for the water levels. They're just, they're so slow and boring. I like the music, yeah. but besides that. Yeah, the music for it's good, but everything else is slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Not here. I want to go fast. I really, not as I, fast I will, as I will say like when you get, um, like the swordfish, it makes it a lot better, but I don't know. I, I don't. I, I think, always end up killing myself if I have the swordfish because I just run into the enemy and it's like, damn. I, well, think I mean, the, if Dung Kong didn't decide to ram his uh, area up the, the swordfish, it'd be nice. <laughs> Jesus. I really like mo. I like. I think the swordfish is the only pet I dislike. Like using like the animal friends and shit. I don't know what you call it. I them. like the rhino. I really like the spider. I really like the spider. I've the never spider used a spider. He's in spider Donkey Kong drip. Country Two. Mm. My favorite is like. Dude, okay, the spider with the the Let's Nikes on. The spider with the Nikes. My favorite, I guess, would be the rhino, and my second would be the frog. Oh my bird god! Can, uh, can we talk about Terrence? Can we talk about that one bird level? It took us like an hour. Oh, the one with all the thorns. Yeah. That one. Jesus, sucked. that sucked. It was a bird level, but every little, every wall, every like nook and cranny was a hitbox. So you just, you just Damn. had to avoid everything, and it sucked. Donkey Every Kong Country like 3 exists kid. too. Every like 90s kid is going to come after us because we're talking, we're talking about shit Donkey about Kong. Donkey Kong. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Honestly, I feel like the Donkey Kong Country games were more popular than Super Mario World. I feel like I hear yeah, more fondness about, about the Donkey Kong Country games mm. on SNES than I do about Mario World. Probably. And like everyone loves Mario World, everyone played that. But it's like I think Donkey Kong Country, I feel like, is more and en- more enjoyed by the mass than Mario World. Most Mario World's a solid Mario. game. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But I still think Donkey Kong uh, is more praised. I don't know. SNES did praise a lot of things right for many games. Monkey. Praise the funny monk. Monkey. E. 
Oh, I don't think we've had enough fill over monkey noises. You guys want to make some more? Yes. <laughs> I hate how That's well that sounded. <laughs> Banana, ooh, monkey. Banana slammer. Why'd you say it like that? If, Why not? If for all those watching, if you ever have been on my Twitter, you'll know that it's half cute dogs, half monkey videos. Um, <gasps> Guys, it's fun. It's Funky Monkey Friday. Dude, and Donkey Kong's anniversary. Life could you know what be that dream. means? Banana. Could be a dream. I still love that video. Banana. Life could be a dream. Man, this Life podcast really went dream. to shit real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it may have went to shit, but it was enjoyable. So, I'm going to be this very was... clear. Uh, before this podcast started, I wanted to do Donkey Kong because I thought he really deserved some form of tribute because his anniversary, how big a deal Donkey Kong is. I I personally respect him. And the game very much because it started Mario, it started the Donkey Kong Country series, started Yoshi because of Mario in turn. So, mm. you know, we got a lot of thank because of him. So I will say that's why I really did think it would be nice to do a little tribute podcast for him. But at the same time, uh, no one, like no one knew anything about Donkey Kong. Uh, like every, everyone was here for last podcast. <laughs> No one came on for this one because just no one knew the topic. Listen, uh, all that matters is that we got the OG, OG boys. Yeah. Uh, Leandro, Leandro might not have actually been mind. here. Uh, he, he, I, <laughs> we didn't think he was going to be here because uh, we thought he was going to be on vacation. But luckily, he came back in time. So, Yes, sir. Um, and Chase, we did think he was going to be here, but he didn't show up. So... We don't talk about the mutt. I like how whenever Chase isn't here, it's like, it, I, I feel like every time Chase is posted not, like every time Chase hasn't appeared, it's always we start talking shit because it's like we thought or we knew he was supposed to show up and he just doesn't or he didn't. It's like, Even what when the he hell? is here, we talk shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, yeah but, yeah, but we do that with everyone. I, I will just say this, that Donkey Kong isn't a franchise I'm all too familiar with. I love him in Smash. I love his country games. Uh, that's the extent of my knowledge of the franchise, really. I played Returns, yes. but there's not much I can say about it because I honestly didn't give too much of a shit about it because I played it when I on the Wii, and I was like, oh, well, back to Smash Bros. Brawl in Poke Park 2. Mm. Like, okay. This is, like, so off-topic, it's not even funny, but I'm watching a top-20 anime scenes where the hero goes berserk, and they had the audacity to put a Yu-Gi-Oh scene in this. <laughs> they had the audacity to put Yu-Gi-Oh. Fits right number with Donkey Kong. Wait, who, who, oh who made the video? Who made it? Oh, it's, it's um, the fight between Yu-Gi and... No, 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 I'm, I'm asking, like, um, like, who, what channel made the video? Oh, WatchMojo.com. Oh, oh WatchMojo! So <laughs> <laughs> not WatchMojo. God damn it. The so second you he said it was a top 20. 20, I was like, it's WatchMojo, it has to be. I like watching WatchMojo. I, uh, for some reason, like, the past, like, week, I keep getting the same damn clip of Squidward's penis is on his face. Uh... I, I've gotten that clip, I think, once a day on my Twitter. <laughs> what <did> the... <laughs> Have you not seen that? No! It's like, it's a Watch Mojo clip, and they're talking about, like, Spongebob scenes, and it's like, Squidward's penis is on his face, and it's like, what? Only Watch oh Mojo can do that. There's one where it's, um, it's not Watch Mojo, but it's a Squidward clip, and it has him walking through the store in like his paradise village. He's like, I wonder if they have it here. And they're like, oh my god, they do. And it cuts to a guy throwing a hot dog at a cat. And it just has Squidward screaming, glizzies. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I've seen that clip so many times edited with other shit. They do have it. And it's just like some random shit. Glizzies. <laughs> Oh, we're halfway there. Did oh, did anyone here buy Squidward on a chair? chair? 
I hate you both so much. <laughs> did did uh, did anyone buy the new funky mode? No. No. The new what? Donkey Kong Co- Country Tropical Freeze Funky Mode. I got no. it for the Wii. I got it for the I Wii. I don't even have Tropical Wii Freeze. Five. I just have Return. Listen, all I need is Return because that one has a constant Diddy Kong. So. I didn't even 100% it. I just have Diddy. it sitting somewhere. I think I played like halfway through and I just said, I don't. Like, I just got out of it. I found it interesting. I liked it. I don't know. I wasn't really <laughs> into the Donkey Kong style of thing when I first played it. I'm a lot more mm, into the yeah, Donkey the Kong. Style was really weird. The Donkey Kong Country games now, but back then style I was, was not. a bit weird. Guys, we did it. We made it to an hour and a half. No, no. We I need to cut it. out. We I need to cut out a world. few minutes of footage, so we still got to keep recording. Back also, the timer on my on the timer on OBS is fifty eight minutes, so your timer's a bit early. Damn you! Damn yeah. you all to hell! Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, right. you guys want to do mo- <laughs> more monkey noises for like two minutes? Terrence, we got this. Monkey. <laughs> I'm just going to put a photo Funny of Curious banana. George with a Nintendo hat and call it Diddy Kong. See if the fans get upset. <laughs> no. Did Diddy Kong Diddy wrong? Just kind of like a, a hairless Donkey Kong. I was Diddy wrong about that no. one. Uh, I no. I love slime circle bits. hairless Diddy. I love, I love slime circle bits. Um, yeah. So I'll I'll just start doing a really long outro because I don't I like we milk Donkey Kong as much as we could because we know so little about the franchise. I really want to do something Donkey Kong related, and I no one knew shit about it, so there wasn't much we could really do. Um, Muck. Usually, hot usually in situations like this, I would just carry the conversation and see if I could get anyone else to in, put input in. But this is one of those situations where I can't carry. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Hot take. Dream flesh chair. No. Please stop. <laughs> Please. Um. Anyway, next George! month. George. Next month is gonna be August, and next podcast. Well, I've had this a good. Of, I've bad. I've been um thinking about what to do, and I and this this I won't say it's set in stone. But I'm like ninety percent sure it's going to be Yokai Watch next month. Ooh, I, might, I, I only I've only seen the anime. So now the thing is, only two. There's only two people who appeared on the podcast that know a lot about Yokai Watch. That's me and Terrence, and we've already gone very long conversations before about the games. We've had like two hour long calls of just us talking about Yokai Watch, so we can we can milk it for a podcast, no problem. But um, I might join for shits and giggles. Uh, I don't know if that is the thing because I might also do another. There's other games or topics uh, that we have been planning on doing at some point. Um, I don't want to just get basically give away uh, <laughs> my plans for the podcast, so. I'll just say it here, next month will probably be Yokai Watch. That's not set in stone. If anything does happen, I'll probably inform everyone on Twitter or via my Let's Play, which you should be watching. Um, it's actually been going pretty well, and I think it's much better than Pokemon because there's a lot less dialogue <laughs> for me to read. And Lovely. so everything is going to be better than <laughs> Mario 64 because of how much better my mic has gotten. So, yeah. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Any any more Donkey Kong related things either of you want to say while we're here? Hot takes you want to just say? Helicopter. Ooh, banana. Okay, anything that requires more than a caveman to understand? Um. Well, as you can see, Donkey Kong is a very muscular monkey. I hate you guys so much. Okay. Subscribe. Subscribe to his OnlyFans.
I don't. <laughs> no. I don't. You get to see I the naked you. DK himself. It's yeah. just it's just that like he takes off the bow tie. I mean the tie. The bow tie. Donkey Kong with a bow Take tie just off. seems cursed. He takes off the tie and all you hear is a clipper start turning on and you just I would cry him. if he took off the bow tie and then it was just completely censored. It was like what the hell changed? <laughs> it's not Did he just takes off the hat. He starts putting on. He starts pouring honey on his chest. What if Diddy Kong took off his hat? It was just a big ass bald spot. <laughs> what if it was like Meg Griffin is just where hit where his heart was. <sighs> anyway, that's all the well, time we have. This podcast went to share <laughs> real quick. But hey, but not not. I think I think it was welcome. important that we talked about Donkey Kong. So here we go. Uh, we'll about I, Donkey Kong. It was more important. It was more important that you talked about Adam Sandler. Of course, uh, it's more important that we shit on Chase for not being here. <laughs> <laughs> Never anyway, forget what he did. Uh, I want to thank everyone who's made it this far and somehow was able to sit through this cluster of random shit. Um, Bananas. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Galaxy, Banana. and thank you, Ink Nova, for coming on and talking about Donkey Kong with me. Anytime, um, anytime. Terrence, you've managed to appear in every podcast so far, and Galaxy, it's nice to see you return once more. Yes, sir. There have been, there have been many podcasts that Galaxy has wanted to join, but for one reason or another, he couldn't make it those days. Uh, and I think that's probably the last, like, four uh, he tried joining and then was just busy that day, so he couldn't record. But it's not his literally, fault. Literally, I'm either busy or I'm not that. even. Yeah, it's so, literally either I'm busy or I'm not even in the city. So yeah, it's I. I you, we can't hold it against you. We can hold it against Cooper and Chase because they just tend to fall asleep. But we can't hold it against you. Listen, so literally, this man said he's gonna be here last minute. He's like, no, nah, I'll pass. <laughs> he's a uh, fake and a fraud. Listen, if we all meet up at like the get together that Cooper is talking about, we all just got a dog on chase. Like we just need to hit this man with everything. We we'll just eat donuts in front of him and don't share. He just cries. We'll throw the hairless cats on him. You know what? I feel I feel bad. Check out Chase on Twitter. He has a new Twitter account where he's been posting uh, Gen Six Pokemon that he's drawn. I will link that in the description along with all of our other stuff. I will also be linking my Discord server, the True Blue official and public Discord server, which you should all check out. Um, there's not really like any, there's not like anyone on there. So if you want to be like the first person that isn't someone who personally knows me, uh, go for it. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to share this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment down below. Did I miss anything? Stay safe. Sure. Um, and I <laughs> hope you all have a lovely, wonderful, funky monkey Friday. Uh, and I'm going to end this video with some monkey noises. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God.